Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel Firefly Tarot. So for today's pick a card reading we're going to be doing what is written in your destiny. So before we get started disclaimer um, I'm not suggesting that we are bound to this particular path that I will be channeling today. I'm going to be getting information about self, life path, and love mostly so um, give or take. So I don't know if I can get all three for each group but that's what I'm aiming to look at today. So we all have free will, we all have our individual choices that we make, and I just thought it would be nice guidance to see what spirit has to say for you in your individual path. So just a disclaimer there. So this is a general reading, it might not resonate 100%. Info for personal readings is in the description, and be sure to also check out my new writing channel. And uh, about the writing channel, so I've realized that many of the topics are going to overlap with spirituality. So when that happens, I will link you guys because there are going to be important concepts on the writing channel that will be relevant to our spiritual work here. Okay, so I will let you know um, in the future when that happens and it will happen soon. So here are the four choices. This is each of the groups is a different kind of pen. So you can find the selections in the timestamps and in the description and I'll show you each of them now. Okay, so group number one is going to be the feather pen, also known as a quill, I think. So this is group number one. Just in case you're wondering, got this from Barnes & Noble, my favorite place. Um, group number two is gonna be the fountain pen. That's group number two. Group number three is the Speak no evil pen. Oh goodness, that's a monkey, I think. Okay, that's group number three. And group number four is the green kitty or the green cat. Can't see his face. There it is. And when you click his tail, the pen comes out. So that's group number four. Okay, so really just take a breath. Go with whichever one is calling you the most. Um, I don't often say this, but you can be drawn to more than one groups. I, I don't think I've ever really said that in my intros. But yeah, um, just go with whatever one the gut, the intuition is telling you to pick the most. And whenever you are ready, I will see you at your reading. Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you that chose group number one, which is the feather pen slash quill. Spirit, this reading is for group number one and whatever is written in their destiny, please provide us with clear guided messages for group one. I'm actually going to scroll up so I can see the question. Okay, let's see. This should be interesting. I've never, well, I've done a reading like this before, but... Um, this is going to be a little different with the groups that I'm doing, the categories. Spirit, for group one, please, what is written in their destiny in the areas of self, life, path, and love? Let's just get a general baseline first, and then I'll go into the specifics. Spirit, what is written for group number one, please, in their destiny? Please provide us with helpful messages about their path. Oh, wow. That's something. Okay. Okay, group one, we have quite a start here. This is actually, whoa, I'm like, 
beside myself right now. Hold on. Give me a sec. Whoo. I am in a little bit of a head fog from some ironic sleep deprivation. Um, I took some time off to rest and here I am. Um, so your, your spread is incredible so far. So that's why I'm taking just a second here. Um, it's really overloading me with information and it's, it's so powerful. Okay. And I knew it would be because I, I think that I'm drawn to the, the feather thing as a writer. So I figured that you guys would have a lot of messages to deliver here. So let me show you this and cut the suspense, but I'm just so happy. Um, so you have the two of cups and the lovers here. You have the fool. You have two aces, cups and pentacles and the king of swords, okay? So I am just like being bombarded right now. It's it's almost like a overload of data and I'm just kind of sorting it out as, as I'm speaking to you. So first of all, um, group one, uh, again, remember it's a general reading, but for almost all of you, I say like 99% of you here, you are shining with some kind of a soulmate or a, a powerful soulmate. For some of you, it is a twin flame, but there is someone that you are meant to meet in this lifetime that you're meant to kind of fulfill this big purpose with, okay? Um, we have the fool here. This is unlimited potential that you guys have. And what's cool is that with the king of swords here, you guys have a very clear path ahead of you, okay? So your destiny, your life path, your mission, your purpose, any of these words is clear to you or it will be, okay? So with the fool here, it's basically like an adventure and something that you might even have to take a risk for or it might seem foolish to other people if you talk about it to them. They might be like, oh, well, that's not practical. That's this and that, you know, but you guys know within your heart, within your soul rather, right, that this is meant for you. So I'm going to take a look at exactly what that path is, but that was there first. With the two, in, I, I can't believe the two of cups and the lovers came out together. Um, so that's why I'm telling you, if one card came out, but both came out together, this is as if the divine has provided you with this other half. Um, not to suggest that you are half of a whole and less than, but it's more like when you are your whole complete self, this person adds to you in wonderful ways. It's like two bright lights coming together to form this blinding light. So it's really an amazing union here. This is a soul union. So I'm going to get more on that. Some of you have already met this person. Obviously, the rest of you, you know, it, that person's still out there. Um, so we'll get more on that in, when we clarify. So with the Ace of Cups and Pentacles here, this is so much power. It's similar to the Fool where there is this unlimited potential. So all of this here, the Aces and the Fool all represent some sort of a new beginning, right? And with the Pentacles here, what struck me was a lot of success and prosperity in a financial sense and in your career path or if you're not feeling stable within your career right now, it th this is basically showing that you are meant to get to that point. Um, with the Ace of Cups here, this is showing a lot of healing within the heart. It's showing a lot of intuitive and psychic flow. It's also showing the romantic love component as well. So as you can see, I'm just completely over overloaded right now with this energy. Okay, so let's put all of this together. This was like a present baseline. This is exactly what I do in my personal readings. I just get a, a line to see what I'm dealing with. And then after that, we kind of build on the messages. So Spirit, what else can you tell us for group one and what's written in their destiny, please? And yet another ace. That is amazing. Ace of Swords. So... It's almost as if you guys are meant to be the birth of something, whether that is prosperity or love and healing or knowledge with the swords here, okay? So this is really intense. Three of wands. So without a doubt, within your destiny is expansion and growth and rising above. You're meant to do a lot is what spirit is trying to say now the interesting thing is that this is going to look quite different for each and every one of you with the power of three uh three aces here this is showing the potential in all of the different areas okay so we're only missing the wands here 
but it, I think it goes without saying because that's how passionate you guys are. So there's so much potential in all of the different areas. So for those of you that really embody earth energy or water energy or air energy, there's just so much here that you're meant to do. Um, with three aces in a row, it's just such a it's such a powerful leadership kind of energy where you're meant to build something. You're meant to create something on your own. You're meant to change minds and change worlds and just really rise above to reach every aspiration that you were envisioning for yourself. So I, I'm well aware that I'm, I'm being pretty general now more than I usually am. But that's because there's so many of you that like there's so many different realms that you guys are sort of a part of so let's get a little bit more clarity here spirit what specifically can you tell us is in the destiny for group one please what are they meant to in the area of oh you know what hold on that's why because i didn't specify spirit in the area of self for group one what is written in their destiny in the area of self so so far we have the queen of pentacles let's see what else just get a couple more so we have here the Queen of Pentacles in the area of self. We have here the Five of Cups. Oh my goodness. We have the Eight of Wands. And then we also have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so narrowing it down a bit here. Um, in the area of self, you guys are meant to grow stable and prosperous and successful over time. So for you guys, this is a strong emphasis on growth over time, okay? <clears throat> and now we have here the Five of Cups. So part of your destiny was to go through a lot of sadness and pain, okay? I'm not even gonna necessarily say unfortunately because I think that you guys are wise enough at this point in your growth to know that this was for a very good reason. So you guys are well aware that those that go through this type of pain, loss, sadness, on the other side, they grow strength, wisdom, and healing. Um, yes, it does take a while, but that's exactly what was written in your path. So you were meant to go through a lot of the sadness, the darkness, the pain, so that you can come through on the other side and rise up. So I'm going to just say that maybe if this wasn't a part of your destiny, you wouldn't have been able to climb higher. So you wouldn't have had, you know, the ability to climb up top, you know, here with your growth and expansion. But that's exactly why, um, that's one of the reasons why you were meant to go through all of these trials, okay, to make you stronger, to make you more knowledgeable and wiser. And then here with the Eight of Wands, um, I do feel that movement, passion, excitement was meant to be part of your journey. Um, you guys are very quick in the mind. You're very clever. And you're very just you're very smart you're very intellectual and I feel that movement and that type of dynamic energy and passion was meant to be a part of you so maybe you guys are I don't know like meant to be activists or something like that or influencers or people who inspire or maybe even creative people that move others in the in terms of the mental right and then here with the eight or sorry the seven of Pentacles. I feel like this is actually you planting seeds throughout the world, planting seeds of knowledge or healing or love or something like that. So as you can see here, like I said before, there's a little bit of everything involved, but it's all powerful. It's all leadership type of energy. And you guys are really serious about planting those seeds of healing and love within the collective so that we can all function better as a society. Spirit in the area of self, anything else that we need to know? So this is kind of blending in with the life path stuff as well. So here's a little bit more about self. We have here the magician, not a surprise there. I mentioned the magician in the last writing video that I did where I was talking about channeling. So here you guys are as the channel, right? So you are the conduit of the energy from the divine to the earth. All four elements are on the table. You are eternal. So you guys are a powerhouse. And that is what I mentioned before. So in the past, there was a lot of this feeling weak, feeling like you were suffering and struggling, but that is not the case anymore, or it won't be the case. So this is a ton of power, 100% 
just I can't even there's no words for this but it's just like buzzing and buzzing and buzzing that that amount of power is what I feel from you guys in your potential so I was just thinking of this today um I often write these little excerpts in my community tab and I said something like the key to your true power is balance so yes balance and also that point in the center where you feel humility it's a long story but um for you guys you are these standing tall humble creatures that are able e either now or you will be at your height of your ability to channel this power so uh, from the divine and then into the earth and um it's just a lot it's like uh, uh, with with my sleep deprivation right now I'm, i hope i'm making sense because it's a, like a lot of information but um here is confirming that the hermit okay so I did mention that you guys are very wise. So one of the as one of the aspects of your destiny written in your destiny is the wisdom, okay? So going through all of the sadness and the sorrows and the darkness so that you can get to the point of this power, this intellect. Um this is not your average everyday type of wisdom. This is ancient wisdom, okay, with the hermit and the magician paired together. This is really quite incredible. Now, if you guys are not creative people, if, if you're not into writing or art or like, you know, anything, I highly recommend that you get into it because you have a lot to say, you have a message to deliver in whatever sort of medium or avenue it takes, you have a message to deliver. Maybe it's just speaking to other people, like public speaking, or it, it really could be anything, but you, you, you have a lot to say and people will listen to you. So that's something that I wanted to suggest to you guys um nine of wands kind of the same thing here this is a card that has to do with fighting a lot of battles but if you notice this person is still standing and this person is um persistent and they have not been knocked down yet and they're not going to anytime soon okay so that's the persistence and the resilience that you guys embody so this is just a lot Okay, Spirit, anything else about life path? So this, again, is not, a, is not a surprise. We have here the Temperance card. So, like I said, it's blending together with your self messages. But here you're meant to heal after all of the sadness and sorrow. And you're meant to heal others. So the Temperance card, you're, you're, part of what's written in your destiny is that you are going to put a lot of healing energy out there into the world. Primarily in the, I would say in the form of, if not knowledge, then of love and compassion, empathy, and again, psychic energy. The way that you connect to people is quite special. Connecting to others and making them feel safe. Um, that is part of your destiny as well. And this is, uh, interestingly, a shared message with your soulmate or twin flame or whoever is showing up here, which we'll get more on later. And then the this is sort of a broad message here, but another part of your destiny is success. I mean, this is a given to me. Like, this is pretty obvious and clear to me that whatever it was that you were striving to do, you're going to get there. I, I would say 100,000% without a doubt, you're going to get there. The only reason that you might feel like you're not going to get there is just these little things mentally like doubt and insecurity and whatever but keep going keep going on your path and you're going to just knock out every obstacle mentally or emotionally that's in your way okay so spirit can you tell us a little bit of specifics about their life path and the six of wands what are they meant to do here what are they meant to do okay so there goes the ace of wands um <clears throat> So we have the hanged man and we have the devil. That's an interesting combo here in terms of what you're meant to do. And I did say before healing. So that's a big part of it. We have healing. We have creativity. We have leadership. Okay. So I hope that that kind of narrows some of it down for you. Again, it's looking very different. Um, but you guys are very 
innovative and ambitious. That's the word I was looking for, ambitious. So you ha- you may already have a gigantic to-do list or a bucket list or something like that where you have already been building these ideas. Now for the smaller number of you that have not yet written anything down, you're going to get a lot out of it once you start to write down your dreams. Okay, So with the Hanged Man and the Devil, similar to the Temperance card and bringing healing and light, that's pretty much what I always think of with the double card. I just think of darkness and freeing people and helping people to surrender darkness or not even just people, but like sort of dealing with the energy of darkness yourself in a way, just by your impact in the world. So that is huge. That's that is a huge destiny right there. Um, luckily, <laughs> sorry, uh, luckily, we don't have to do it ourselves you know I don't think that it would be fair for one person to have to carry that burden so don't worry group one people um, we're all in it together you know we are the collective but you are doing your wonderful part to contribute to the surrendering of darkness whether that's through uh, again the healing or your leadership or your words all of it is here so I think what I'm gonna do hold on let me see spirit is there anything you can tell us for the Two of Cups and the Lovers. What's going on here with um, group one, please? <clears throat> I feel bad for kind of just like, if I, I, I don't know if I'm rambling or not, but when I channel, it doesn't really matter. My mouth just moves. It's really weird. Um, okay, so I was asking about the Two of Cups and the Lovers. Remember before I did say strong, powerful soulmate or twin flame. So definitely... Um, some of you are kind of telling the story here where there's been a lot of issues with this person that leads me to believe that most of you have met them already obviously that's not for 100 percent of you but here we have some issues okay we have the eight of swords the ten of wands the five of pentacles the five of swords so with these two cards here this is conflict this is abandonment maybe you guys have are in you know currently in separation and someone walked away um, and maybe there's been a lot of burden and restriction and, and just feeling stuck and trapped in regards to this connection. Now, that is not surprising to me because the, the soulmate or the twin flame is going to be a mirror of your soul. And if you've gone through everything, that really doesn't surprise me at all. So that's the explanation for that. If you do truly have this powerful soulmate on this earth somewhere... Yes, they have gone through equal or similar burdens as you. Now, I don't know if they are as powerful as you are, or maybe if you're like the more awakened one, I honestly can't tell. Most of you, it's going to be that you're the more awakened one, but that's for not every single one of you. But anyway, um, I do feel that because spirit was so obvious about these they were so clear and direct this tells me that there will be union okay so for the rest of you that haven't met this person yet you will and i mean you can't get away from this you can't not meet this person they are just they are it's like i got this image of a shining star and eventually all of the clouds are gonna just fade away you're gonna look up at the sky without meaning to and see this bright and shining star that's what I see from your person. Like, so somehow, some way, this person is going to find you or, or you're going to find them. It's pretty clear to me that that's the case here. Um, and by the way, if you've already met them or whenever you do meet them, this person is going to feel like home. I have said that a lot probably in some of my love readings, but that's exactly what they feel like. They feel unmistakably home and it's it's a very... It's, it's actually a very sorrowful thing if you're not with them. But just thinking of them, whether you know them or not, it will feel like that strange, sad happiness, if that's even possible. It just, there's, there's really no words to describe that feeling. So that kind of makes me think that a lot of you are star seeds. I don't know if you've heard me say that before. Um, you guys really do strike me as star seeds where you're meant to, to basically achieve this huge mission here on earth you're not exactly from earth you know some people might not believe in that whole theory but if you are a star seed you totally get it um so we're going to clarify here with the everyday witch tarot 
Um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to clarify, but let's get right to it. Spirit, can you give us any clarification for group one and what is written in their destiny, please? Whether it is self, life, path, or love, anything at all. So the, the one that was missing, the fact that it was the Ace of Wands, I feel like you are the wand. You know, you are fiery. Some of you are fire signs, yes. I mean, with probability alone, you, you some of you will be. But um, you are the fire. You are the wand. You are the one with all of that <clears throat> charisma and passion. Whoops. Um, so here we have strength. Speaking of fire signs, that's the Leo card. That's funny. Uh, and then we also have the High Priestess. Wow. So you're getting these powerful duos here, these combined messages, these double major arcana cards like you had before with the Hermit and the Magician. So here with Strength and the High Priestess. Okay, look at these, these cards. This is an interesting deck. So with the Strength card, you can see in the background, I, I think that this is some kind of a tornado or storm or... I don't know exactly what that is, but um, look how calm she is. She's just there, you know, kind of hanging out with the lion and completely calm, even in the midst of a storm. And in this one here, th she's a seer. She's able to see things into the future or into the past and just be completely calm and centered. Both of these cards show that energy and it's really, it's really noticeable. Um, so that is partly what you guys can expect you can grow into remember growth so that is really the word of the day for your reading is growth this is going to take time so if you have felt frustrated your whole life you have to also remember to look back to look back and notice that you've come a long way and you can't discount that so the power that you have within your potential is just outrageous it is completely outrageous. So let's get a little bit more here. Spirit, can you clarify anything else? What else do they need to know for group one, please? What's written in their destiny, please, for group... Oopsie. For group one. <clears throat> so we have the king of wands. Remember I said before that you are the fire. Um, let's see what else. Oh, and this is so cute. I've never seen this on a tarot card before, but if you look on his desk... He has the, the feather pen. Isn't that adorable? I love it. Nice little confirmation there. So anyways, um, yeah, a lot of you are going to be writers or speakers or influencers, like I said. Um, now, I'm drawn to the fact that he's pointing at some kind of an atlas or a map or something, and he's teaching <laughs> the cat. It looks like he's teaching the cat. So um, that's representative of what you guys are going to do. I'm drawn to the red. Again, leadership. You guys are meant to be in that role in our society or in the world where other people will look at you listen to you and learn from you so this is super exciting more fire over here anything else so a lot of you are going to run your own companies or start your own like sort of ideas or groups or programs or um creative projects or anything anything like this uh, really, it just depends on your individual sort of ambitions, but whatever it is, they're saying go for it. And you are protected. So I'm drawn to his golden armor here. So you are protected. There's a little bit of royalty in your your aura is another thing that I noticed. And then we have here the chariot. Oh, interesting, the chariot. So there may be some indecision about where to go. Okay, that's a good piece of advice there. Um in regards to your path so that's the chariot so you might be asking yourself which way right so but if you look carefully at the arrows one is black and one is white so on the traditional chariot card it's the same thing and what you really want to do is just choose the path of your choose the path of light choose the path of your highest good choose the path where although it might take a sacrifice you know that this is the right one for your highest good so if you're not sure what that will be you know pray on it meditate on it and ask your guides to lead you in that direction and they absolutely will um spirit anything else that we need to know about what's written in their destiny please for group one Ok, 
Okay, so we have the Six of Swords. Okay, so I feel like this is really present energy, Six of Swords. So what's cool about this card is that there's, there's this little gust of air sweeping through the scene here and they're headed towards a full moon. I think that's actually very beautiful. And what I'm noting is that she's not alone or this person is not alone. Okay. So I feel like in the present, you guys are actually embarking upon a completely new journey and moving on from something that was difficult or disappointing or that didn't serve you. Like right now, that's the present energy of what I'm getting. And you might have a lot of hope and you might be manifesting something that's new right now because I really feel like this is strong present energy that's coming through. And there's a lot of power with the stars and the moon that is right here. So I feel like the two hooded people that are walking in front of her are either guides or some kind of support that you might have in your life right now. So definitely look for that support, okay, in whatever shape or form it is in your life. There's also a cat, but I think there's a cat on every single card, which is so cute. Um, so a sort of like spirit animal or some kind of support, like I said. And then we have the two of wands. Okay. The two of wands. Yeah, so there's similar star energy here. Okay. And a similar vibe of looking out into the future. So I do feel strongly that these two cards are representing the path that you're on now. So you may have to make a decision. I think that this is really... Um, reminding you guys of the previous uh, one of the readings I did before was all about making a decision I think you may recall that so anyway the two of wands here there's you're holding the world in your hand literally isn't that amazing okay so I think we got a good amount of each category so spirit do you have any final messages for group one and what's written in their destiny please For group one, let's just get another. Four of Wands was at the bottom, which was this card. Okay, so we have the Seven of Wands and we have the Six of Cups. And with the Seven of Wands, again, I feel like this is more present energy, which is talking about standing up. You have to stand up and... Um, I love the fact that the cat is standing in front of her, kind of protecting her. So even if you guys don't know it, right here and right now, there is either a guide, an angel, or some kind of a spiritual entity in front of you, so to speak, protecting you and leading the way. So please do not be afraid. You must press forward with your dreams because the only fear or the only obstacle in your way is fear itself. And you can dispel fear by not feeding into it. Okay, that was a very clear message that they just gave. So thank you, Spirit, for that. And then finally, here we have the Six of Cups, okay? So the Six of Cups can be basically like another soulmate card, which I was going to give you just a little bit more on because I, I noticed that it didn't come out. Well, I didn't actually really clarify as much as I probably should have, but it's just because this energy is so strong. Okay, so Six of Cups here. Yeah, so return as soon. That's what they just said with that message. They said return or reunion. <clears throat> is soon and again if you guys haven't met this person it very well could happen um in the near future this is a timeless reading by the way uh now keep in mind that whenever you meet your person it does depend on the openness within you as well so just keep in mind little disclaimer there is that if you have a blocked heart chakra meaning if it's blocked with any kind of negativity it could be fear, anger, hatred, resentment, bitterness, clo you know, just being closed off in any way, that is going to affect the timing of this. So for those of you that have a nice big open heart and it's full of love and healing, then th that message is going to really resonate more. Okay, so just for fun, let's do one last one. Spirit, any final words, please, for group one, our feather pen group, what's written? So we have the eight of pentacles, Nine of Pentacles and Two of Pentacles. Nice Earth energy to end the reading. So with the Two of Pentacles here, um, or with the Earth energy in general, again, growth. So remember I said that before, a huge message is growth, stability, patience, time. But specifically with the Eight of Pentacles, now is the time to work hard. Get cracking on your project is what Spirit is saying. So as you can see, you guys have various, various 
projects and messages here. So whatever the thing is that you want to work on or you were thinking of, it's time to start working really hard. And you have to have a, a pretty decent schedule to do it. You know, little things, just like set aside just a little bit of time every day or put more of your focus, put more of your energy into that task and you will succeed. That is written. I see it. Um, and speaking of, Nine of Pentacles is your final card, a card of success and wealth. Okay, wealth that you have built, success that you have built because of the hard work and because of the ambition and the ability to dream big and not back down from those dreams. Okay, the Nine of Pentacles is basically one of the wealthiest or most prosperous cards in the entire deck. Okay, so that is part of what is written for you guys. So group one, I lost myself in your messages. And um, again, I, I do sincerely hope that this made sense because I'm just kind of like really brain fog right now. So um, definitely let us know in the comments if it resonated. If it did not resonate at all, feel free to pick a different group, okay? So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really wish you the best. Make sure to check out um, the writing channel as well along the way because those are going to be important messages there and I will link it below in the comments and in the description, okay? So send you guys light and love and blessings and I hope to see you next time, okay? Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you that chose group number two, which is the fountain pen. So a uh, quick disclaimer, I'm like super head foggy today. So if I misspeak, I'm sorry about that. I'll try to make sense. Spirit, this reading is for group two and the energies for whatever is written in their destiny in the areas of self, life path and love. Please provide us with clear guided messages for group two. Okay. So let's get a general baseline here, which is what I ended up doing for group one. Spirit for group two, please. What is written in their destiny? Just generally speaking, let's take a look here. What is written for group two? Oh my gosh, <laughs> in their destiny. For group two, please. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so we have an interesting, whoa, oh my gosh, okay, interesting mix. And we have the Sun card at the bottom, and I note that because we have a lot of major Arcana cards here, group two. So we have the Moon, we have Temperance, we have the Five of Cups, and the Nine of Swords, the minor Arcana here, but the rest are major. So we have the Judgment card, the World card, and the Devil card. Okay. Now, you may have been also attracted to group one, some of you, because this is similar vibes in a sense of your power. But let's uh, take a look at the messages here. Okay. 
And yes, right here, very similar message, but for you guys, it's... Okay, let's take a look here. We have the Five of Cups and the Nine of Swords, which is talking about basically going through quite a bit of pain, okay? Now, for you guys, the specific kind of pain, Group 1 also got Five of Cups. For you guys, the specific pain, this was... We're talking about mental health here, okay? So part of you guys is path included most likely something having to do with either loss sadness or something with mental health so it could be depression anxiety or i mean there's just so many different things i could list here but i'm not going to go into the specifics yet um some of you it could have been something having to do with addiction ptsd ocd okay there's a lot of different things here i don't want to trigger anybody um but that was a part of it now close to that message we have the temperance card this is right there right to the left and the judgment is over here as well right to the left of the pain so what this means is that your whole life you were protected and guided by your angels by your guides okay that was part of what was written in your destiny okay so again group one kind of got a similar thing if you were drawn to that as well but for you guys you have the component of the mental health uh, sort of aspect here. Now, with the moon card leading the line, this is talking about a lot of mystery. It's talking about a lot of mystery and fear. Sorry, if I'm pausing the videos because I have to cough. Um, okay, so here the moon card is talking about the, the mystery involved with your path itself. So that's where you guys differ here. So for many of you, from the start, you may not have had any idea where you were going in terms of the the path that was supposed to be right in front of you you probably had uh some mystery about that but the fact that you have the judgment card and the world card tells me otherwise that it may have felt that you didn't have a path in front of you and that you were completely lost when in reality you were actually on the perfectly right path the entire time so a general message about your destiny and what's written there is that you were meant to walk this path for as long as you needed to walk it to get through to the other side of judgment, which is basically talking about enlightenment. So you were meant to become enlightened, all right? So if you guys are still struggling with the mental health component, that enlightenment is still on its way. Now, some of you may have already <clears throat> reached a form of enlightenment already, that's going to keep going it's it wouldn't stop it's just not going to stop and i see here with the sun card at the bottom this is basically like a form of your rebirth okay so within your path all of the darkness it was not meant to stay you were meant to rise above that so if you are really in the thick of the mental health stuff part of your destiny part of what was written already for you was that you were meant to be in light this is the total opposite energy here the moon and the sun so you were meant to be in this brightness. So that's what we're going to look at next in regards to the path and self. So the self and life path areas are going to blend. You can, you'll see that yourself here. So you're meant to come full circle. You're meant to learn all of these vital lessons. It's I mentioned it in a post a while ago uh, where I was teaching about the tarot. And I said to look up the fool's journey. So you guys go from not knowing anything or feeling very lost and confused all the way to the other side where you're about to be reborn and start anew as the the sun or like the beginning of the fool's journey, <clears throat> which is unlimited potential. Um, spirit for group two, what is written in their destiny, please? Speaking of destiny, we have here the Wheel of Fortune. So you guys have a very strong and very direct kind of destiny here. We have the Strength in the Empress card, which is again speaking about, look, again, two, three, sorry, three more major arcana cards that are speaking about your power and your focus and your abundance here that you're meant to have. So what I see here. Again, as a general thing, as well as in the area of your, just yourself and your own personal and spiritual development, <clears throat> what I see is that you came full circle to the point where you kept rising and rising and rising. So you might feel like a total stranger now versus the self that you were when you kind of started your journey. <sighs> okay, you've received or you are meant to receive a lot of spiritual downloads and become close to spirit and to really 
be able to tap into that kind of spiritual information. So I was really drawn to the angel here. Spirit, what else can you tell us for group two? What's written in their destiny? Yeah, definitely rising above the pain. This is another direct message here. Two of Wands and the Ten of Swords. So if you were wondering in your destiny, if you were just like meant to be in darkness or to suffer, that is not the case here. In fact, the cycle was meant to end in this lifetime. I really don't know that much about past lifetimes, but maybe you guys felt like you were stuck in some horrible karmic pattern and it's meant to end within this lifetime or rather like it's meant to be resolved. And then here we have a good supporting message, the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom, signifying some kind of prosperity and fresh energy. Okay, Spirit, in the area of life path for group two, what is written in their destiny? Okay, justice is a huge thing that was like screaming out to me. So something was done wrong to you. Oof, okay, I'm sorry. Ooh, blah, 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 blah. <sighs> sorry, I just really felt it right there. Um, if something was done wrong to you, and now I'm referring specifically to something with trauma. Okay, um, it's energetically speaking, or even for some of you, for a smaller number of you, legally speaking, I feel that you're meant to have justice of some kind. Um, so more likely this is talking about karma or like, you know, energetic justice where, and we have this incredible supporting card at the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Cups, which is talking about your happiness and your rising above your connection to the divine, um, your power, whoops, your power here with the magician. But the justice card really struck me. So part of what's written in your destiny is coming into that state of balance, fairness, justice of all kinds. We have here the eight of pentacles and the five of wands. There's a lot of distractions. So part of the journey for you was to kind of tune out all of the distractions, the noise and the clutter in your life and just kind of be a little bit more to yourself so that you could focus and work harder on your particular path. There might have been a lot of, uh, I guess, disagreement or people like, I just got this image of people like, you know that phrase like they're spitting at you, but like not literally, hopefully, um, that they're just kind of talking and talking and talking and they just like are criticizing your every move, that kind of energy. So you're meant to tune them out. So you might have to actually do this, like literally speaking, um, with headphones if you live with them. But this is talking about the ability to really um, tune out the noise in life in general. And we're, I'm not talking about just literally, but symbolically as well. To tune out the criticisms and the negative energy of the opposing forces in your life in a 3D world sense, so that you can center yourself, focus on that path, and it is gonna be a life-changing one. Let's let's take a look at what that could be. Spirit, what are they meant to do? Wheel of Fortune, please. What are they meant to do in their life path? What's written for group two, please? Whew, Ace of Wands, okay. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom, incredible prosperous energy right there okay so we have here the five of swords five of swords that's interesting that's another conflict card okay so i feel like okay this is gonna sound bad but it, it it's not um i feel like part of what was written in your destiny so if you're if your life was basically a novel a movie a book whatever um that was a part of it it was this extraordinary amount of obstacles or of a, that opposing force like so you had a lot of antagonists against you in your life but you stand strong and resilient as the hero of your book or of your you know story in general um but they are asking you to walk away from the conflict they are asking you to drop the swords um if you guys have some struggles with things like pride getting the last word or resentment they want you to drop all of that because it's weighing you down and you won't be able to reach your center and your balance if you're holding on to it. So um, Ace of Wands, this is your journey. This is your path. This is a highly, highly creative, passionate, and even spiritual sort of a destiny here. 
So that's what they told me, create. Again, similar tone with group one, but you guys, it's this was very, very pronounced. And in fact, just a little tidbit here, group one got every ace except this one. So you guys are kind of filling it in here. So I don't know, maybe you guys want to watch group one as well at some point, but uh, ace of wands here. You are creators. You are the fireballs of the collective um i don't so maybe you have either fire or air energy uh dom like um the the that's the dominant sort of uh sign that you embody here but I, i'm not sh i'm not sure exactly what you're meant to do group two but i see that you're fighters okay you're definitely fighters and you are uh you guys are like you kind of strike me as the 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 fun sort of spontaneous energies um there's this there's this personality ass assessment called true colors just in case you're randomly curious about that true colors personality assessment and you guys are orange so what that is um in terms of this is like you are the ones you are the ones that are able to be spontaneous and have fun new adventures and sort of influence and encourage other people to have joy in their lives or have creativity in their lives or to um, just be present, be fully part of the joy of the present moment that is this life. So that's an incredible gift that you could give out there into the world. And that's one of the biggest things that I see within your life path is to make that difference. So that's going to look different for all of you depending on your interests. <clears throat> and I guess within your, your careers or your actual path, but that's the general sense of what I get for you guys. Spirit, anything else about their life path, the Ace of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune? So, either, well, I feel like you're involved with the action. You guys are all about the action. Um, yes, you're quite wise. You are very... It, you are very uh, knowledgeable in a lot of different areas, but for some reason, I feel like you guys are right there in the in the mix of it. Okay, you're in the mix of the energy of the collective, so you're very very involved. Uh, um, so yes, part of what is written in your destiny is to be involved and present within the action, in particular with a lot of people. So even if you are, if if you happen to be an introvert, for you guys in group two, you're meant to work with a ton of people. Um, so it, I don't know if it's exactly directly in person, but you're meant to work with a lot of people to establish some kind of a common goal is from what I can see here. Now, add it on to that. So I said before, you know, you guys are very knowledgeable. Look at this. This is a direct combo here. That's the three of swords, the hermit, which says that you are very knowledgeable in the areas of, of pain and, and heartache and, um, and therefore healing healing of that heartbreak because the hermit card here is showing the enlightenment you can see he's holding the lantern so the enlightenment that comes from suffering okay I, I hate to phrase it that way but that is exactly what they're saying here remember we have the temperance card which is talking about healing okay so um you guys kind of remind me of people who would run some kind of a support group or create some kind of a program or um just like be be that support be that advocate for others so that's what i really feel is involved with your with your life path in particular now i'm noticing in the area of love nothing came out yet now that doesn't surprise me because you guys are probably just still really focusing on the self-healing and focusing on brightening the scene here and being able to see clearly just yourself so that that really does make sense. So it, it but it kind of makes me feel like it's it's coming soon for you if you haven't already met your person. So we can get some info on that. But there's just a lot here. It's just so heavy. Um it's just so heavy. So again, that that was part of the journey. That was an important part of it. Remember that you will ascend. Remember that you will have that enlightenment. We saw enlightenment twice, actually. Spirit, um, before we move on to the next category, um, anything else that they need to know? Group two. About what is written in their destiny. Okay, we have the high priestess. So similar energy here. Very ominous mysterious psychic energy coming through here so what they're saying here this is a specific message that they want you to hear very clearly wait a wait a minute 
I heard just like a tiny, tiny little bit of a high-pitched noise when I was about to tell you. So if you start to hear that again, I mentioned it in one of my readings, I forget which one. If you hear anything high-pitched that is not a medical issue, then this might be your guides or angels trying to speak to you because apparently they speak in higher frequencies. But the message that they have for you is allow things to unfold naturally over time. That's what they said. So the moon card and the high priestess. This is, you see the water energy? It's kind of like that. It's like allowing things to float to the surface of the water without you doing anything. And so that's what the high priestess is all about. The high priestess is the feminine principle of receptivity and just allowing things to float towards you. So that's what they wanted to tell you. This is confirmed with these two cards next, the seven and the queen of pentacles. So this is all about growth and allowing the seeds to sprout whenever they are ready to. So you may have to channel earth energy at this time and really sit there and be present and be grounded okay so you guys are you guys are pretty present people because i feel like you enjoy the little things of life and it, you're just so grateful and humble for the little things of life and the little joys being with loved ones and things like that and nature but the groundedness part is important here especially for some of you if you've experienced uh, traumatic events you may have some imbalances particularly within the root or the sacral or the solar plexus chakra actually I mean it just kind of all started firing in my head um, you may want to look into some chakra healing if you have issues with uh, heartache or like wounds of the heart obviously that one is uh, the heart chakra as well so you may want to work on chakras in general because this is actually what is going to lead you to this growth to this balance that healing over time you see the scales there okay yeah yeah so I mean um I'm not an expert on chakras but definitely you know check out some some books on it check out some videos on it they have wonderful free YouTube meditations frequencies for it so I hope that you do get into it it's gonna make a huge difference so let's take a look at the last category um, I'm gonna use a different deck this one is everyday witch tarot Spirit, um, this is for group two and what's written in their destiny in terms of love. So one message that already came through was that you're going to be overwhelmed by love in a sense of either community or friendships or, you know, eventually self-love. So that message already came through. So this one's about romantic love. Okay, spirit for group. Two, what are the energies for them? What is written for them in their destiny in regards to romantic love? Oh, by the way, we had the temperance card before. And in this particular deck, their temperance card, she's doing, is this the tree pose probably in yoga? So I was talking about being grounded and balanced and that pose right there is something that you can actually try to feel balance but you have to sort of settle into it and surrender to it otherwise you're going to tip over and she's closing one eye which i think is cute so this is talking about moderation balance and healing so just keep that one in mind spirit what is written for group two in regards to the area of romantic love in their destiny please group two ace of pentacles ace of swords okay so here's what it looks like Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Swords. So what they're saying here, the two aces coming out for you guys. It's saying that this is going to be your romantic love energy is meant to come towards you when you're your new self, your renewed self. So when you're feeling more prosperous and clear, more connected to the divine, when you feel safe, when you feel more grounded, Okay, I don't know if it's talking about like 100% that you have to be any of these things, but what they're saying is that it's going to be that your person's energy will be a, like sort of drawn to yours when you are in that frequency is kind of what they're saying here. So when you are your, your brighter self, 
okay. Um, so this does mean a lot of healing. For some of you, it, it might take a, like, you know, a lot more time to get to that healing point. But that healing is meant to come towards you, okay? The only missing element is if you don't want to heal. Like if you push it away or if you feel that it is not possible. It is possible and that is part of your destiny here. That you're meant to overcome. You're meant to reach enlightenment. Spirit, what can you tell us for group two? What is written for them in regards to romantic love specifically? <clears throat> Okay, we have the judgment card repeated and we have death card okay so they're basically just confirming that that message nine of cups at the bottom has, has to do with happiness fulfillment satisfaction so with the judgment card repeated here so it, it this is this is their message they're, they're basically saying what i just said that when you reach the point of a higher sort of a frequency uh, enlightenment awakening and a re well, or, sorry, a rebirth, that's kind of their whole thing here. So what they're trying to say is if you feel a little bit frustrated or even like hopeless or discouraged, if that person has not entered into your life, there's a reason for that. Um, it's actually to protect you because if you happen to still be in this energy or in the devil energy, imagine what you might attract if you're in the energy of darkness, you will attract more darkness, okay? I myself learned that lesson, okay? And I will tell you that if you continue to work on your light, it is worth the wait. So please do not try to rush it and just continue to focus on yourself and your healing. And remember what I said earlier, allow things to unfold over time. This is not something that can be rushed. Okay, so let's say that you get through to the other side. Spirit, um, once they reach their point of light and balance, what is meant for them within <clears throat> love in their destiny, written in their destiny, please? Anything that you can tell us about love? Now, I just got this feeling that some of you, and, and it, it confirmed it here, I had this feeling that some of you were sort of discounting the idea of love. I felt a little bit of bitterness in my heart, and now I, I, I don't blame you because obviously, if you've been through stuff like that, that's gonna happen, and that's understandable. But remember what I mentioned, okay? You are what, I mean, you attract what you are, right? So like the energy that you put out there, it comes right back to you. It's pretty much another sort of a principle of the universe is the laws of attraction and balance. But anyway, um, so I had the two of swords here. So that's, as I said, that the two of swords confirm that you've had doubts. You've had doubts. And in the traditional two of swords card, she is blocking her heart with the two swords going like this. So she's putting a blockage up over her heart. So keep that in mind. But uh, we also have here the world and the eight of pentacles showing a lot of happiness and satisfaction and coming full circle. Um, we saw the nine of cups earlier. So I do feel that later down the line when the time is right, this is a huge message about alignment that the person that is meant to come towards you will have an incredible heart. Now, I will point out that they're not showing up in the reading just yet. And that's part of it. But uh, we have here the King of Cups and the Four of Wands. So basically, this person is going to be your equal. They're going to be. They're going to be quite experienced in the areas of heartache as well. But uh, the timing, like I said, is emphasized here because of the healing aspect of things. Spirit, anything that you would like to tell us about this person that's eventually going to come towards them, or that they will eventually meet? Yeah. So, <laughs> okay, hold on. The Nine of Cups is here again at the bottom. I am led to say that this person is going to come towards you when you are alone, single, solo, because um, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like you're going to be quite happy just 
on your own for a while or for however long you're meant to be. And then that's when this person is going to pop up. So we have here the Knight of Pentacles. Um, so potentially for some of you, it may have taken longer than you would have liked. I'm not saying that for all of you, it's going to take, you know, many, many, many years. But what I'm saying is with the Knight of Pentacles, it just makes me feel that no matter what amount of time, it's going to be longer than you probably would have liked. Um, so we have the Three of Swords again. Okay, so be careful with that energy. So if you do want to sort of clear the process of eventually meeting your counterpart, you got to be careful with the heart because this is the reason why a person might come towards us or not come towards us or energy and abundance might come towards us or not because we carry a lot um, within our hearts. And if it's not a clear and loving heart, then it, all it is is blockage. It's like stuffed and we can't fit anything else. Energy works in that way. And we have the Page of Cups. So it's like we get these little hints here. We're getting hints and hints and hints, but we're not quite getting the energy of the person. So Spirit, is there anything else that they need to know about their future person? What's written in their destiny in, ter in terms of romantic love specifically, please? Okay, so the only things that we see here, so we have the Wheel of Fortune repeated. Okay, another little nudge from spirit that has to do with timing and alignment we have the temperance card again balance and uh, uh, when you reach the point of healing and now we have the moon card again okay indicating that there's that your person seems to be just a little bit mysterious before we saw the king of cups and now we see the king of pentacles okay so the only messages that Spirit wants me to give you today about this, because I, I love how ironic it is. It, it's, it's like um, not what you want to hear, but because of, because of the impatience or because of the need for healing and focus on self, that's actually why Spirit doesn't sometimes give us answers. Now, I empathize because there's a, there's a lot of times where I, as the, like I'm the reader, <clears throat> and I'll try to get answers for myself for something that I'm not meant to ask and and my spirit guides are probably looking at me like what is she doing like why is she keep asking this right and I won't get the answer they won't tell me and it's just simply because of the path that we're meant to walk you're not meant to know everything but anyway um so we had the king of cups before and now the king of pentacles so yes your person is showing through here as someone who does have a huge heart who has gone through similar uh, sort of pains and trials and stuff like that. But by the time of, I would say, uh, reunion or union, it does look like there's a lot of stability, there's a lot of generosity, and there is a lot of support and loyalty, okay? So that's what your person is coming through as. Now, what I can sense in regards to your, your person later down the line is that they are also currently feeling afraid, and they are currently still battling their demons. That's really what I can sense here. So I will say another um, another time is that this is a protective measure for both you and your person. So for those of you that feel as though you have already met your person or maybe you're already with them, I wouldn't be surprised if it's really hard and it's just like a lot of pain or going back and forth because... Um, you know, in all soulmate connections, they mirror our wounds. And for you guys, you know, it, it's been really hard. So just be cautious. Um, definitely fill yourself with love, fill yourself with light. Um, definitely meditate or, you know, pray or do any of your spiritual practices and connect with the divine. Spirit, do you have anything else to tell them about what is written in their destiny about anything at all? For group two, please, what do they need to know? about what's written for them. Oops. Six of Cups at the bottom. So as you can see, the Six of Cups is a, is a basically a soulmate card. Um, your person and you, I feel, are sharing that fear. They're definitely there, but it's like they're afraid to creep out of the, you know, sort of like poke their head out of the shadow kind of a thing. They're afraid to come into the light right now, and I feel like that's what many of you may be feeling. So Seven of Swords, it's hidden. So there's a lot that is hidden. Um, you guys are very, very mysterious. I don't know if you guys are like, uh, this is the Pisces card. So I don't know like if you guys are just super mysterious in general. Um, 
I said before, you know, you're at your height when you're in your light. I feel like you're very fun and spontaneous and, and very much likable. But there is that part of you that either you keep hidden or that you like. Well, not that you like being mysterious, but but that is quite mysterious, you know, and people are probably attracted to that. <laughs> um, okay, so we have here the final cards, the two, the four, and the ten of pentacles. Um, actually, again, another similarity with group one, they ended with three pentacles cards. So I, I feel like you guys are like the the companion group. So here we are, two of pentacles, four of pentacles. So what we need now is stability. Um, again, part of the path, part of the written path is up and down, okay? There has been a lot of up and down. So one more thing that you guys can do to help along with your path, your journey, I would... The Four of Pentacles is about the blockage of the heart space. So I'm going to repeat that message. Work on the heart chakra, okay? Um, definitely do some journal writing or seek support or something like that because it's very difficult to do on one's own. Um, but anyway, with the Two of Pentacles here, they want you to reach stable ground. And um, I do feel that the message for the heart chakra healing was strong because apparently the heart chakra is where all of the energy flows through, being the center chakra, okay? So if the center and where everything flows through is blocked, that means that everything will become blocked. But the final card that you guys have is just an incredible message. Um, it's very encouraging, it's very hopeful. The Ten of Pentacles. So this is a little bit of everything. This is love, stability, prosperity, family, harmony. Okay, so you can see it from that from that image there, that this is just all kinds of healing. There's all the green there, all of the pentacles, all of the support. It's a really beautiful final message here. Um, so group two, similar to your energy, this some of the messages today here were a little bit mysterious. A little bit mysterious. But, um, but I do hope that it helped. And like I said, six of cups at the bottom... Um, your your person trying to speak to you a little bit there, but group two, uh, I kind of I, I did lose myself in your reading it like I did with group one. I just kind of went round and round and round here. Um, so I hope that some of these messages did help on your journey. Remember that you know we are not bound to any particular thing. We do have free will. Um, so I hope that you guys are able to again, you know, like sort of drop the conflicts or the tuning out all of the clutter and chaos of the world and focus on what's really important, which is your healing and your power and your success. So group two, I hope that I made sense today. I'm sorry if I didn't. If this didn't resonate at all, feel uh, free to pick a different group. Um, and remember to check out my writing channel because the messages there will be quite important, especially if you are creative. Um, so again, it's a general reading. The info for personal readings is in the description. Thank you guys so much. I'm sending you so much love and heart healing, and I hope to see you next time. Okay, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.
everyone, this is the reading for those of you that chose group number three, which is the Speak No Evil pen. Spirit, this reading is for group three and whatever whatever is written in their destiny, especially in the areas of self, life, path, and love. Please provide us with clear guided messages for group three. Okay. Let me just stay there. I think I got this pen at some kind of a smoke shop in Washington State. So random. I never travel, but I got it there. Spirit, um, for group three, please. What is written in their destiny? For group three, what is written in their destiny in a general sense, please? For group three. Oops. Okay, wait. Yes. All right. So the Seven of Cups is facing up. And I do feel like this is trying to tell us, it's hinting at the fact that you guys have a lot of different paths that you could walk. Quite interesting. Um, Page of Swords as well. So let's see just what we have for you. Four of Swords. Okay. Interesting. Ace of Cups. The Ten of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the World. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Let me put all this together. Let me get a little bit more spirit. What can you tell us? What is written in their destiny? Group three. There's a little bit of a mix of energy here. Okay, so we have also the seven of wands. We have the hanged man and the temperance card. Now, this is why I'm a little bit thrown off by you guys. Um, it's because the energy that I'm actually sensing is not necessarily one of your destiny, but it's a little bit more of what you're going through right now. So I think that the point of this is to show us what we need to know so that you can get to that point. Um, we have here the Two of Pentacles at the bottom. So I think that for most of you, you are at the current time battling some kind of a decision or two paths. That's what could be going on here. <clears throat> and with the Seven of Cups, this could be talking about that as well. So basically, there's a lot to choose from. There's a lot of distractions. There's a lot of things that have potentially been trying to knock you off of your game in a way. But the destiny is here. The Wheel of Fortune is staring right at me in the World card. So I do see here that whatever it is, you are meant to achieve this thing. And I'm, that is a mysterious thing. So let's let's get that a little later. So I'm gonna slide this over here. Um, so Page of Swords and the Four of Swords. So it's kind of as if, it's kind of like it, something is sleeping right now. So maybe you are currently undergoing some kind of transformation quietly. So you could be receiving spiritual downloads. You could be receiving a ton of healing from a lot of pain. And I actually feel like that is the truth here because it's almost like you're fighting for something you're fighting to survive oh gosh and then here the hanged man and the temperance card is showing the surrender that's needed in order for you to come to that healing so that's why i was thrown off by you guys um group one and two i feel like we're pretty straightforward but for you guys i was just like question mark question mark question mark Okay, so let's get a little bit more, and what I'll do this time is I'll get some specifics. Spirit, can you tell us for group three, what is written in their destiny in terms of self? What's going on for self? What's written in their destiny for self? So I do feel like currently you guys are struggling or battling something that you have to release and therefore gain your stability and safety in order to achieve your power, your stance, your place in the world. And then here we have the judgment card, which is a little bit more sort of like an obvious destiny card. Judgment talking about enlightenment, rising above, things like that. I think all the groups got, the, got, got those mes messages so far. But anyway, um, so in terms of what's written in your destiny, that, that's part of it, okay? Part of it was to have either distraction, too many options, too many things to think about and ruminate over, and have to release 
quite a bit in order to get through to the other side. So that was part of the journey. Spirit, what else do we need to know for self, for group three, what's written for them in the area of self? Yeah, so the fool. So what they're saying is the time that you're in now, as you're watching this, it's timeless. It's, you're right at the cusp of a new beginning. That's why I felt this strange energy. It was like fizzling away. It's uh, all the bubbles were kind of landing on the surface and then finally things stop moving and it's just like stillness. That's what I saw. So you may very well be at that transition point of your life right now where you're about to start a new beginning and this is where the destiny will come through here the the messages okay so one way to aid in that journey is to surrender and to put the wand down so if you can imagine that you're this person on the card put the wand down take a seat stand up like sit up straight Take a seat, center yourself, and just take a couple of deep breaths and look out into the scene. Like, take a look at the sky, take a look at your surroundings, and just sit there for a second. That's what they're asking you to do, okay? To ground yourself, to center yourself, and just to feel present just for a second, to surrender, and not trying to control things that you cannot control, meaning outside factors, okay? So that's what's going to lead you to this balance, and uh healing <sighs> right okay spirit in terms of life path for group three what is written in their destiny please for group three what is written in their destiny for life path what are they meant to do oh my i know that this is not specific but they said you're meant to be happy satisfied and fulfilled so Yes, although that might look like a lot of different things for you guys, depending on what you want for yourself, the fact that you get that is really encouraging, okay? So Nine of Cups, you're meant to be happy, you're meant to be fulfilled, satisfied in your work. So that was a big one. In your work, as well as I, I, I'm going to add, like, in a general sense, okay? So let's get a little bit more. Spirit, can you tell us more about the Nine of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune? What are they meant to do? Life path, please, for group three. Okay, I feel that although this is super duper cliche, I apologize, um, the six of pentacles, as you can see in the image here, I feel like you're meant to help people. So you can see here that the person in the center is giving, you know, they're, they're giving from, I, I, I'm assuming like their own pocket here, they're generous, they're being generous towards someone else that is in need, okay? So with the six of pentacles, I feel like that for many of you is what is going to be fulfilling. It's going to look different though. It's going to look different depending on your, I guess, your plans and your, I don't want to say expectations, but sort of your visions for the future. We have the Ten of Pentacles here at the bottom, King of Pentacles. I feel like for many of you, an, an actual path of charity work or volunteer work or humanitarian work is part of the destiny. Now, um, in general, the collective, we all kind of have similar messages, but for you guys in Group 3, the Six of Pentacles, that's the first I'm seeing that. Okay, at least I think so. What else? What are they meant to do? Life path, please. So some of you might help people in regards to that sort of generosity and giving back and that charitable kind of work. And then there's another component here with the Eight of Swords that has to do with freedom, which is quite interesting. So if it doesn't resonate that you guys are doing what I mentioned with the Six of Pentacles, it might have something to do with um, the word freedom did come to mind. And this reminds me of people who are helping causes such as any individuals or groups of people that are oppressed in some way. Or um, I don't imagine this would be for many of you, but for some of you, the word incarceration actually did come to my mind. So like literally imprisonment. Um, that was random, but Spirit wanted me to say that because that was for some of you out there. But uh, oppression was like the bigger word here, like much bigger for like uh, more generally for you guys. Um, and then here we have the moon card. The moon card, let's see. Okay, helping, um, 
something with oppression getting towards freedom, also clarity and enlightenment. So I feel like, okay, this one was an interesting one. Um, the humanitarian cause here had to do with helping people through teaching them through knowledge, through helping them learn different life skills, okay? Helping them come out of that dark and have having less of that fear. So that's a very noble thing to do. So others of you, it might be actually charitable work monetarily, you know, things like financial or, you know, whatever it is. But the rest of you, it's either that, it could be both, yes, but it's the giving back with your time and with giving other people the similar feeling of happiness and satisfaction. So this is really amazing. Really amazing. Um, okay. You guys are really mysterious, though. So I'm trying to read your energy a little bit more. And I'm like, I can't really feel your energy. So it's just interesting to me that the, the group that you chose is someone who's covering their mouth. That's very curious to me. So maybe you guys are just one to be inward a lot more than you are outspoken or uh, there could be some kind of a fear element as to why that is. But let me dig a little deeper here. Spirit, what else in the area of self is written in their destiny group three? That also could be part of the oppression as well. Maybe it's like flipping it back around and helping others that don't have a voice or something like that. Okay, we have here the four of pentacles. That's blockage. You guys are hiding. You guys are a little bit afraid there in that card. I wonder. Spirit, what, what can you tell us about that, the four of pentacles? So I think that part of what was written in your destiny had to do with growing your own sense of protectiveness over yourself. I feel that a lot of you were not supported or guided in your lives and that might account for why there's a lot of like distraction or fog or indecision here it might be because of that with the knight of wands this really does sort of strike me as well technically the knight of wands any knight is like a teenage compared is like a teenage age compared to the king and the queen Whereas the page is like a child, right? So this is in the middle of the night. So this kind of just feels to me like you're this fiery teenager in a sense. Not obviously, not literally, but um, I mean, it could be. But the Knight of Wands, like, so this is you. You're just like, you're off on your adventure. You don't quite know exactly where you're going because you didn't have that guidance and support early on. But you are very fiery. You are very ambitious and passionate. Um, but there's just something here that I feel like you're craving and longing for. So it could be something like that it could be just like that energy exchange of of love support and acceptance it could be something like that which makes sense because your destiny line over here destiny line that's an interesting thing that reminds me i'm sorry let me <clears throat> let me sidebar here for a second now i i used to do palmistry i don't really do it anymore but there is on the hand something called the destiny line not everyone has this so i would recommend you guys uh just google that and just to check if you have one um Again, I don't know a ton about it, but you may want to check. It might be interesting for you. Something having to do with the lines on the hand, palmistry. But anyhow, um, that was part of your destiny sort of energy stream here. Um, to come back around, to pay it forward, to give back to others in ways that you didn't have, especially growing up or currently in your life. There's a lot of love that you are seeking. There's a lot of acceptance and validation that you're seeking. And I do feel that eventually... Part of the energy exchange is that you will be the one to grant that love to others, even though obviously you've wanted it yourself. And we'll get more on that in a bit. Spirit, anything else for group three that we need to know what's written in their destiny? Yeah, so I really love the simplicity of their message with the two of wands. What they said specifically is you're going to go far. That's exactly what they said. Two of wands, you're going to go far. Some of you had like this really, really big vision for yourself. Um... I don't know exactly if it has to do with fame. It might have, because we have here the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Wands. So this is very much being in the spotlight energy. So it said, you're going to go far. So some of you, if you've had visions of things happening where you were like this big, important icon, I feel like that is a huge potential for you. 
you know, obviously, so again, I don't exactly know how destiny works per se, but I feel like if anything, the path is in front of us, but the potential is up to us. So if you guys reach that potential in this lifetime by your hard work and your determination, here we have the rebirth card at the the bottom i feel that you're really going to make it you're you're going to make it it said with the two of wands you're going to go far okay another element of that is travel or just uh like not being stuck to the one place that you are currently in okay freedom is another big one uh let's get one more and then i'll get love next anything else spirit for group three and they also said with the the monkey pen they said to speak very clearly they said speak Speak your truth, speak your mind, speak your heart. I don't even feel like there's a reason for it. It's like you don't even need a reason. Just just speak. Um, just for your own personal expression and truth is the first reason. But then that will then evolve into other reasons as people want to hear you. I mean, that's, that's definitely something there. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been going at this for a while, an hour and 30 minutes, excuse my uh, throat problems. Okay. Is this coming out? Yes or no? Okay. Queen of Swords, speaking your truth is right there. Sky is the limit, you know, that's cliche, but it's true here. It's, the sky is the limit. So what they mean by that is that there is no limit. Um, you guys have so many options in front of you. You have so many pathways, and the only thing that you have to do is clear the fog so that you can see clearly. The way to do that is to know what you want or rather know what's in your highest good. So that's like a little bit of a dual message there. And then the other card that came through was the Eight of Cups. So this is fitting with what I said in the beginning. You guys are currently, most of you are at the point of transition where your whole entire life is about to change. And what's fun about you guys' message here is that you can go like basically anywhere that you wanna go. Now, if you, want to channel that energy take take a look at the fool card being the zero this is unlimited potential you could go wherever you want so if you're not sure of what that is my tips for you my recommendations for you is to focus on the feeling focus on the feeling of happiness and satisfaction focus on the help and the giving back and the um the freedom now, the way that things usually work is that the visions and the sort of like the broad messages are there to help us. But when it comes to the little details of choice A and B, we're not going to ever really know exactly what to choose. So this is where you have to rely on spiritual intervention. Okay, don't fight too hard because your spirit guides and the divine and everything, the universe is there to help you with all of those little choices so try not to sort of like push too hard you have spiritual help and it's time to lean on them so that you can reach the next stage okay so i hope that like the little bits of advice i'm giving it, it's sort of like a double thing with you guys i hope that that is helpful because you tend to worry a lot you tend to worry a lot and, and overthink the a the b the c d like it's just too many things Okay, so again, rely on the spiritual intervention. Oh my goodness, the devil is right behind that. So be in light, invite light, invite angels and guides and the divine and, you know, everything light into your heart and as well as within your decisions, your guidance, the gut intuition. So please follow your intuition. Please follow the spiritual guidance. I know that's not always easy to do, but it does come through practice and awareness. So the next thing I'm going to get is the love part. Okay, Spirit, this is for group three and the area of romantic love specifically. This is Everyday Witch Tarot. And it's super cute. I think there's cats on every single card, which is so funny to me. Okay, hold on. Okay, Spirit, for group three, please. What? Oh, that's nice. The Two of Cups is right here already on the bottom of the deck. Um, but let's see what pops out for you guys. The Two of Cups is a soulmate card. Well, how I read it anyway. Spirit, for group three, what's written for them in their destiny in the area of romantic love? There's a little bit of fear here, group three. I felt it. I felt fear, antsiness, hesitation. So maybe this is like a sort of like a touchy subject sometimes for you. 
Yeah, see, nothing's coming out. <laughs> Group three, please. What is written for them in their destiny in the area of romantic love spirit? See, only one card came out. Yeah, definitely a lot of fear in this area, I would say. Strength card. That's such a beautiful encouragement. They're asking you to channel your own inner strength and to stand tall even in the midst of the tornadoes there. Um, so this is, to me, a sign of loyalty. Um, I feel that the energy of whoever you're meant to meet, your person, right? I do feel that it is, they have like a quiet hum about them. So if anything, they could be watching you spiritually right now from afar, okay? I, I have no idea what that means. That that just came to me. I have no idea what that means. So I don't know if you've met them. I don't know if they're just out there. Spirit, what can you tell us about their person? What's written in their destiny in regards to their person in romantic love, please? We have the Ace of Pentacles. So for a lot of you, this actually has not happened yet. The Ace of Pentacles is showing like some kind of a new beginning, a new offering. Um, it could be with an earth sign, actually, because pentacles, and here we have the devil. Now, normally, I don't... <laughs> normally, when I see the devil, I'm like, ooh, uh, you know, maybe that's a bad thing. But here, it's a lot of earth energy. There's also the four... So let me show it to you. The, the devil's right here. And then we have the four of pentacles, so more earth energy there. So what this is telling me is that it's just not quite ready, not quite ripened. You know, the, the fruit on the tree is not quite ready to be plucked. So give it a little bit of time. Just focus on yourself. Focus on your healing and your path. And when the time comes, this person is going to be your rock. They're going to be that source of support and loyalty that you've always been searching for. Spirit, can you tell us about this person for group three? What's written for them in the area of romantic love for group three, please? Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Hold on. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, okay? So like I said, it's not quite ready. This is something that is going to take a little bit more time to grow. We have the Five of Pentacles. So this is representing either you or you and your person's battle to come back home, to come back to a sense of shelter and security and safety. Um, with the Eight of Swords, which we did see earlier, the both of you are working on freeing yourselves and strangely they said freeing your dreams too so i have this weird feeling that you're going to meet that person your person when you're out and about doing that thing you know like you're doing your soul's work your soul's mission your mission work whatever it's called that could be what's happening here and then now we have the sun okay so there's heavy um the strength in the sun card is a uh, leo energy i believe um, so we also had uh, that fire energy come through as well. But what I'm getting is that your person is incredibly reliable, strong, loyal. They bring so much sunlight and joy and happiness into your life. There's also little hints of uh, family on this card as well. The sun card doesn't normally have that, but this sun card does. This one woman has the full belly there. Okay, so that doesn't that's not going to resonate for everyone, but that is a component here. So maybe you're meant to, um, part of your destiny is you're meant to have a family with this person. Spirit, what else can you tell us for uh, group three, their person or energies for them, what's written for them in terms of love? Yes. Yep, it came through. So we have the star card at the bottom. So whatever you were wishing for, because obviously everyone has a different wish, but whatever it was that you were wishing for is coming through here. But in terms of the cards that came through over here, you have the Ten and the King of Pentacles, okay? So more energy of someone who's quite reliable, stable, loyal, generous, uh, very caring, especially in terms of the physical environment and physical just like sustenance and things like that. And then here with the Ten of Pentacles, this is more imagery of prosperity, wealth, family, togetherness, things like that. You do have the Nine of Swords. You guys are really going to go through it together. Like if you do have a family or whatever it is, or if you are on that journey with this other person, it's gonna be, it's it's kind of gonna be like you're fighting those battles together. So I think that you're gonna share the life path journey with this person. So that's even better in a sense that you're not gonna have to do this alone. Woo. And I did feel like this heaviness. I felt a bit of a heaviness in my heart. Um, Spirit, can you tell us about the Nine of Swords? What's the message there? 
So this could be signifying that maybe for, um, I don't know for how many of you, but I, okay, that's kind of weird because I was going to say it and then this card confirmed it. But I feel that part of you guys' um, what was whatever was written for you was an initial loss. So you may have already been with someone that you deemed as your soulmate, but you've already, you know, that, that sort of energy stream has already faded away. So maybe you lost someone already, unfortunately, okay? So that's what I felt. I felt like an incredibly heavy heart. Um, and here it is, the Six of Cups, which is a soulmate card. But anyways, um, this whoever this person is, there's someone else. There's someone, there's something more for you. So some of you guys may have sort of given up on the idea, especially if you did lose somebody. But from what I can see here, there, there's a lot of potential for someone new coming through, someone that is going to be there and be that support. So if it's not resonated romantic love, definitely someone who's going to be there for you and with you. Very beautiful, very beautiful message. Spirit, any final messages for group three, please? What is written in their destiny in any area? Okay. Wow. We have the Five of Cups again. The one I just showed you. Yeah, that was that was part of the destiny. Um, maybe it was like karmic energy from a past life. I mean, I don't know exactly what it was. But that loss... It... <sighs> It was sort of like part of the storyline here um, to get you through to the other side. That's just usually how things work. And then the Hermit card. So maybe you guys were meant to, for a certain amount of time, be on your own to learn these lessons and to reach a higher state of consciousness and to connect more with the divine because of all of the deep analytical or introspective work that you were meant to do. Okay. One final card for group three, please. Okay, finally, we have here the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Wands at the bottom, a card of victory and success. So the Eight of Pentacles is here. Um, you're about to embark upon this stage of your life from what I can sense, okay? So again, you might not necessarily know exactly what the path is. I gave you a couple of hints, but this is really mostly depending on the visions that you can see for yourself. So in order to develop those visions, all you really have to do is the hermit work. And you can do this by um, a lot of different things with uh, creativity or writing, just like sitting there to get your thoughts out, to sit there in meditation or to talk it out with somebody if you prefer that. There's a lot that can happen here, group three. There's so much potential. It's just this really loud and powerful, oh boy, potential that I see for you guys. Whew. You may also have to make some decisions right here and right now. And obviously that's not easy, but if you can see on the Seven of Cups, some decisions are easier than others. There's things here that are harmful and there's things here that are prosperous. So be careful, be wise in your decisions. And that's the last message that they had for you. I hope that that helps. Be wise in your decisions is what they said. Okay, so group three, very, very powerful and intriguing read here. And I hope that this made sense. Um, and if it didn't resonate at all, feel free to pick a different group. But that's that's what I have for you. Okay, so um, I wish you the best of luck on your journey. I hope that this helped. Remember, you know, we're not bound to anything. We have our own free will. We make our own choices. So just use your intuition and your best judgment. So thank you guys. Um, remember, it's a general reading. Info for personal readings is in the description. And make sure to also check out my writing channel um, where I'll be posting some relevant spiritual posts as well there. Thank you guys again. Wishing you the best. And I will see you next time. Sending you love. Bye-bye.
Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you that chose group number four, which is the green cat pen. I think, I, where did I get that? I think I got it at a, I think it was a Spencer's or a Hot Topic in like a mall somewhere. Um, Spirit, this reading is for group four. And whatever's written for them in their destiny, especially the areas of self, life path, and love. Spirit, please provide us with clear guided messages for group four. So I'm going to be using the regular Rider Weight Tarot, and then afterwards I'll be clarifying with the Everyday Witch Tarot, which I just got and I love. I think there's cats on every single card, which is perfect for you guys. Okay, Spirit for group forgot where I had the microphone. Spirit for group four, please. What is written in their destiny? Spirit for group four, please. What is written in their destiny? Just in a general sense first. Oh, wow. For group four. Okay, we have the Fool at the bottom. Let's take a look at these messages that popped out here. Hmm. So the first thing that I did notice, we had the Ten of Cups here. And then we had the Three of Pentacles and Cups, okay? So one message that came through was that you are meant with the Ten of Cups, you are meant to be happy, you are meant to have union in your life. I feel like this is probably talking about the love aspect, but we'll we'll take a look. But m the stronger message for if pretty much all of you, if it doesn't, if that doesn't resonate for whatever reason, um, is that you're meant to work with others. You're meant to be around others in the company of others, in high spirits, in collaboration. So this could be having to do with work or something like family or whatever, like anything like that. So that's something that's included here. Very strong cards. It's like forming this sort of a triangle thing. Um, we have the Knight of Swords and Cups. So this has to do with direction from how I'm seeing it here. This has to do with moving forward in a very powerful and determined direction. Um, we don't have the wands. So that would be like really, really fast movement here. So it's sort of like a nice balance, but we'll get more on that in a little bit. Then here we have the nine of wands and the seven of cups. I, because of this and the knight cards, I feel that you've been walking this journey or traveling this particular path for a very long time. And you have probably felt that you have fallen many times. That's what I think from that. So this your whole journey, your whole path in front of you is not even anything new. So therefore, what I feel for you guys in group four is that you know exactly where you're going or where you want to go. Um, getting there is a totally different story. But here with the fool at the bottom, this is saying that the journey is right in front of you. So let's get some more detail as to where you're going. Spirit, can you tell us more for group four? What is written in their destiny, especially in self and life path first? Oh yeah, you've definitely been here before. So I don't know if maybe this is speaking about past life kind of energy, but you've been striving and fighting and sort of climbing this path forever and ever from what it feels like. So I don't know what that is yet. I don't know what you've been trying to do yet. But I can only gather that if you've been trying for this long, it's that important, okay? So here we have the Seven of Swords, the King of Cups. So with, with this combination of cards, it kind of looks as though you've been kind of hiding some part of yourself. Probably the emotional or even the psychic part of yourself that could be included here. So we'll get more on that next. 
Um, and then here with the Page of Swords and the Two of Wands, again, the path has been clear for me from the, clear for you from the beginning. You're very loyal to this path with the strength card here. That's actually the Leo card. So yes, you're very loyal to this path. You've been standing up and fighting for it for as long as you can remember. Um, maybe you guys are very old souls. I haven't said that in this video yet. You're very old souls and you have a very noble purpose or idea in front of you that you want to work with others, that you want to bring that kind of happiness and light out there into the world. Okay, so I still am in mystery about what you guys are doing. Spirit, what else can you tell us for group four? What is written in their destiny, please? And we have the destiny card. Okay, Wheel of Fortune. Let's see what else. The star card. Wow. The Queen of Cups. <laughs> um, and the Four of Pentacles. And here goes the Knight of Wands. And, ooh, wow, that's interesting. All of the four knights did make an appearance. Okay, so you've been carrying this. You've been carrying this mission or this this path or dream for quite a long time. I feel that um, whatever dream and ambition you had since childhood is exactly where you're headed, right? So again, you're being, the, the cards are being very mysterious as to what that is. So I'm going to really clarify when I um, specify here. But with the star card, this, this leads me to say that this is something that will impact a lot of people, especially with the Two of Wands here, because he's holding the world, or he or she is holding the world. Um, the Star card itself is filled with hope, so I feel like that's also a part of your mission. All right, I think I said for one of the other groups, I forget if it was one or two, that was a, that was um, the Starseed group, but for you guys, I feel strongly that you are as well, um, or Strong Air energy this is the uh, the aquarius card but it, it seems that whatever the mission that you've had it's it's quite hopeful especially considering all of the struggles the darkness and the suffering and all of that that's out there in the world i feel that a simple part of your mission has been because you've known this for a long time this is not news to you but that you have wanted to spread hope and light out there into the world oh <sighs> Okay. Some of it's been blocked, okay? Here we have the King and the Queen of Cups coming out together. A lot of psychic energy here. So yes, this could be hinting at um, the love area, which I will clarify last. Spirit, can you tell us why the Seven of Swords is here and these other cards? What is the reason? What is the message behind the Seven of Swords? Hmm. There's something going on here. Um, <laughs> this could be speaking about someone turning their back on their mission. So for some of you, this might actually be speaking about your counterpart, your person, which I'll again get later on. But there's someone here that is sort of living in deception that is walking away from that collaboration <laughs> energy, which is quite curious to me. Um, I, I don't think it's you, but that is an interesting message only because um, it seems that you are intimately connected, psychically connected to this other person's energy that is coming through, which is, again, not a surprise for those of you who always choose group four. Spirit, um, what else? For group four, what is written in their destiny, in their path? And here we go, the lover's card. Okay, so that is confirmed. That's confirming it for me that that message was kind of just showing you that, hey, someone is not quite ready to fulfill that mission. They're blocked up, therefore blocking you up. But the nice part is that you can still correct your own sort of balance and clear the o your own fog of your journey. But that, interestingly, the person that you seem to be connected to, in a sense, has some kind of contribution to your blockage. Now that kind of sucks. So if that is the case, if you feel intuitively that that fits, that message fits you, please protect yourself, okay? You can, I don't know, maybe do a cord cutting thing or a cleansing or grounding, anything at all to protect yourself from this energy. Just be careful with that. Spirit, what else for group four? What is written in their destiny in regards to their path? The Wheel of Fortune, the star. Wheel of Fortune and Star and the Two of Wands, please. 
get a little clarity. Yeah, Eight of Wands. There's a lot of wonderful movement here. This could be having to do with travel, um, interacting with people, collaborating with people all around the world, which is really, really exciting. I'm not sure in what way you'll do it, but I feel like that's an important part of it. So some way, somehow, your work that you're doing is going to reach far, far places, is what they're saying. Yeah, freedom. This is so cool. Eight of swords and the three of wands is talking about expansion so if you're looking at the eight of swords first this is captivity and restriction but as you can see you completely burst out of those chains and you're you're free you're flying around you are um compared to being captive here you're freaking levitating Anyway, um, and the Three of Wands is another card that has to do or can do with travel or far-reaching sort of energies. Spirit, can you give us a little bit more sort of confirmation <clears throat> for group four? What are they meant to do here? What is their mission exactly? Queen Pentacles. So we have the Queen and the Page of Pentacles, so this might have to do with uh, I mean, my first impression was that it had to do with providing and being generous, but I also had, I, I got this image of, it reminded me, especially with the queen, oh, and the, the fact that the pages are children, it reminded me of a parent reading a story to their child. That's an image that I got. It was very distinct. So that could be literal, but it also could have to do with you helping younger people specifically, children or um, people who are less wise, not necessarily children in age group, but people who are less wise or need guidance, that could be something there. And then here with the Five of Swords, this has to do with petty conflict and confusion and battles. So uh, another part of your destiny, what's written in it, is providing people with that structure, stability, and sort of boundaries and guidance in that aspect of things. So it, it really is like you are being a parent, in a sense. That's a really interesting message there. Okay. Spirit, what else? <clears throat> yeah, definitely providing clarity and new beginnings. That's what they said there. Clarity and new beginnings. Um, emotionally and spiritually to others helping them to take their risks and and walk their journey guided without the mystery of the moon card here there's a sun there in the corner here the white sun so this is tying into the message of hope you give people hope or you're meant to give people hope so again the way that you do this is going to be different um, depending on your visions for yourself because there's a lot of people watching so um, if some of you have had visions to write books children's books um, some kind of teaching work as well could be another possibility i think one of the other groups got that too um, but can we have one more clue spirit for the star card Like I said, this is going to be quite different for everyone, but at least we have the foundation. Oop. Okay, so King of Wands at the bottom, I definitely think that you guys are meant to be leaders. You guys remind me of Group 1 a little bit. Maybe you were drawn to that one too. They were powerful leader energy too. Um, okay, so we have here the Justice card. So I was asking about the Star card and the hope and the inspiration that you're going to put out there. We have the Justice card. To me, that's a pretty clear message or direct message that whatever it is that you're meant to do, whatever's written for you, does have to do with putting justice out there into the world. So maybe some of you are interested in stuff with e either the legal system or just stuff in general that has to do with um, helping things be brought to justice or fairness or freedom or something like that. Um, one of the other groups did get that uh in terms of oppression, helping people who are oppressed or sad in, in sadness, helping people to 
find their way back to the light, being that guiding star for them. So this is the word beacon comes to mind. So you're meant to be a beacon of hope or of guidance. So that word is really huge right now in my head, guidance. It's in capital letters. So again, that is going to be different. Some of you might literally be guidance counselors or mentors or teachers, like I said before, or again, parents. So if it's not necessarily a career path, it could be your place within your either family or something within your societal uh, sort of like um, atmosphere. Okay, so being a source of guidance. So that is a huge part of your destiny. And if, I'm curious to know for you guys what that is, what that will look like, because that could be almost anything. But that's that's the the bare bones of what we are seeing here. And then here the high priestess and the page of cups. So highly psychic energy here. I I feel strongly that you're meant to work with children or have children or be around children in some way because the page of pentacles came out before with that that queen, and then now here it's sort of like a similar energy. So with the High Priestess, this is, and the Page of Cups here, I feel like you're meant to impart spiritual wisdom onto the younger generation. That's really cool. That reminds me of um, something that happened recently where I was teaching, or yeah, I was teaching my little cousin and showing my little cousins how to do tarot. And so that kind of reminds me of that, you know, like just little things that will help to impact the future generations. And you guys, that's the first time I'm saying that tonight, the future generations um, sort of message there. Okay, so let me get some other cards. Okay, this is the everyday witch tarot, like I said. Spirit for group four. What else is written in their destiny? What else do we need to know? We have the Three of Swords. Wow. Okay, what's going to be paired with that? Spirit, what else? Okay, this is interesting to me. Because before I mentioned something about writing, and on this particular version... Is that the... Wow. On this particular version of the Three of Swords, you have on the bed a journal and a feather pen or the quill thing. See? So I think that um, some of you may want to check out group one as well. Just, in, just if you're called to it. You don't have to, but just if you're called to it or if you were called to it. So anyway, the journal here and the pen here and the fact that it's the Three of Swords card is showing that part of your message to the world might be about your own personal pains, okay? So maybe some of you are meant to write a memoir or you're meant to do some kind of self-exploration through journal writing or closely related to journal writing could be something like therapeutic work or uh, cathartic or creative work like art therapy or you know, uh, mental health therapy, stuff like that. Uh, there's a lot here, my goodness. There's just so much in this one card. Something having to do with sleep could be also relevant here. Um, this really does look like someone just stepped out of the bed. Like there was someone there in the bed and they just kind of left to take a break. And then, um, but there's something with the word sleep. I don't know why. <clears throat> sleep, that's important. Maybe you're in sleep medicine. I don't know. Um, Okay, Spirit, what else can you tell us for group four? Uh, let's take a look at the area of love. We didn't really get much about that. Spirit, for group four, what is written for them in their destiny, especially in the area of love, their person, romantic love stuff? For group four, please. Okay, so Eight of Wands, your person might be at a distance. <coughs> group four and uh i have a feeling you already know who they are or you've already met them and it's been quite chaotic for you um i would never read the eight of wands that way but in this particular deck that's exactly what it looks like <sighs> okay and then here with the page of pentacles 
What's nice is that there is at least stability coming through with that card. However, it's new. It just got here, kind of stability. It's it's still growing, and it, it it's still like you can see he's flipping a coin. So it's still up to chance here whether or not things will move forward. Spirit, can you please tell us um, a clear message for group four? What is written in their destiny in regards to love? Let's just get one more. Okay, Ace of Wands at the bottom. Let's see what we got though. Get the Wheel of Fortune. So there's something very powerful in, written for you in your destiny in regards to your counterpart and I say counterpart because that's what I feel I, I didn't see the card yet I mean I did see it over here um, we also have the king of wands this is interesting to me because the king of wands and I this card have a history I saw this many 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 years ago when I was drawing cards for myself and it was in the future position and if you guys are interested if you're into tarot um, that book that I recommended a while ago, it's by, her last name is Bunning. The way that she described the King of Wands, that's what's coming to my mind now, so I'll, I'll describe that for you. So this person that I see that is your counterpart, so they're basically coming off as the perfect balance of a lot of great qualities. So very passionate, a leader, someone who is very bold, someone who is quite intellectual their teachers and this is really cool because this was the card that i saw in a different group it also has that feather pen you see so that's really interesting here and there's the world imagery so this again is leading me to say that this person is at a distance from you either now or or they were or something like that this person is really fun and playful and um again fiery and they're very confident about themselves. I don't know if they sometimes are arrogant, but they're they're very confident about who they are. Um, depending on the stage that you guys are in within your journey together, like, well, separately in your soul's journey is what I meant to say, this person could still be struggling with a lot of issues with their triggers and their imbalances. Remember I said it's sort of like a, uh, what do you call, a coin toss still. And the stability is new. So that's going to that's gonna vary depending on you guys' stage with this person. But um, the playfulness and the energy that's coming from this person, there's a lot of charisma. So when you're with this person, whether you know them or not, so it might sound familiar, it might not yet, but when you're with this person, it's just full of life. There's sunlight. There's light. There's adventure. There's beauty. And the feeling of being perfectly home. And I know you guys have heard me say that before. So that's part of it. And then the other cards, the rest of the cards that we got, okay, you gotta be kidding me here. I didn't even see this. I didn't even see this until now. The Queen of Wands. So you are coming up again as a second counterpart with this person. Before we had the King and the Queen of Cups and now it's the wands that's amazing i didn't even notice that the whole time because it was covered holy mo okay um the star and the four of swords okay so anyway the so that's what your person is like so that's most likely what you also are like you're you're mirroring each other and the the colors here and the beauty that I'm seeing, there's a there's a dragon in the background for your card, there's flowers um, reminding me of the fool because the fool is also carrying that white rose there. You guys may be on the beginning, at the beginning of your journey together, spiritually speaking. Um, yeah, some of you have been already going round and round with this person for a long time, okay? But some of you haven't even met this person yet. Again, it varies because there's so many people. But we have the star and the four of swords. So it's still sleeping in a sense. Starlight or the notion of stars is important for some of you in terms of 
in terms of the imagery or symbolism, the synchronicities with you guys, starlight. Also Aquarius, which I mentioned earlier, might be something significant there. But with the Four of Swords, you know, oh, look, there's stars and moon there. Um, but with the, the Four of Swords, it's still sleeping. It's still not quite there. And that's just because of divine timing. You know, that's it. That's the only reason. Divine timing, alignment, growth. It would be wonderful if we could just snap our fingers and say, hey, it's going to happen tomorrow. But um, please keep in mind that the way that things work out is in our highest good. So if you kind of step back from everything and you let spirit and the universe do their magic, you're going to be pleasantly surprised. I will tell you from experience that this is the case. So try not to fight it. Just allow things to happen. Just do you. Do your thing. And you're going to get there to that point of happiness, okay? <clears throat> But with the star card, um, it's showing that your wish is going to be fulfilled with this person. There's, I'm drawn to the, there's a little fish here. The cat is not bothering the fish, but um, the fish is Pisces. So I don't know if maybe that also resonates. This is Aquarius card, but it, I, I noticed the fish, so I, I just thought I would mention that. Um, what else? Yeah, so just looking at this card alone, it's, it's just an overwhelming love energy spirit can you clarify the lovers please so anyway yeah this was part of it um this was part of what was written in your in your destiny so we have the lovers here the, you're i mean you're meant to be with this person so some of you might be confused and say like well you know that doesn't make much sense. Like you have probably haven't met them yet, but for the majority of you, you already know who this is. But anyway, um, it, it looks like you're meant to be with this person. Um, now, again, disclaimer. Um, I say this in some videos because you know I got to be careful here. But if you feel, and this card came out, if you feel like this person is toxic and not meant for you, then follow that. Please follow that intuition. But for the rest of you, it might be the case that um, the both of you were on your journeys. You separated. You come back together. And there's this element of collaboration. We come back to the Three of Pentacles that we started with. There might also be a third party situation go uh, going on here for either one of you or both of you. So that could be another element of what's going on in your story here. And there's a lot of darkness to combat or to conquer at this time for both of you. I think that both of you are... Oh, that's interesting. Let me see here. Both of you are battling your, your demons, and what I'm noticing here in this card, this particular version of the Devil Guard, um, in one hand, he has a money bag, and the other, he has ice cream. That's actually really interesting. So I don't know if maybe that resonates with what you and your person could be battling or focusing on, or I don't know. It's, it's quite interesting. So, But in any case, it's representing you guys' battle with your inner darkness and overcoming that. Spirit, moving forward, please. Um, well, Spirit, anything else? Like, let's just kind of get a concluding message here. Spirit, what else can you tell us for group four and what is written in their destiny, please? Any helpful messages for them about their path? Okay, so we'll make this the final one. Eight of Cups we have again at the bottom, having to do with moving on from something. So either it's here it was talking about walking away, but here this is talking about moving on from the difficulty. So that's good. So that's why I was saying like moving forward, showing what we're headed towards. Okay, so finally group four. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles talking about growth and stability and the need for patience, which is our favorite word, I know, um, but it is still growing. It is still developing. But I do see that there's a lot of progress that's been made on both sides, okay? So I'm not only talking about you and your person, although that message does fit there, but I'm talking about in general. There's been an immense growth over time. Please do not discount your progress because you've made so much progress over time and you've also created product. Like you've been productive and you've even, maybe some of you have created some kind of product that you can hold, tangible product in your hands. Okay, our final cards, we have the moon. And the death card. So 
the death card here kind of to me is a little scary look at the face it's very ambiguous here so anything could happen here there's and there's fog it's just this to me is a little disturbing i i love this deck but that that kind of freaks me out but um so it's it's interesting because the the moon is talking about fear the moon is talking about fear and mystery but there's actually more clarity on this card <laughs> but um you see the little cat there looking into his reflection of the big cat. I'm sorry, I don't know the name of that cat. But um, this is talking about looking into our own inner reflections and maybe seeing something that might not necessarily be... Well, seeing something different is, is all I'm going to say. Seeing something different. And then the moon image, obviously the moon imagery in the background and flight here. So something that came to mind with this card was astral projection. So that might be important for you or meditation in big letters, meditation. Spirit wants you to meditate and they also want you to receive a gift. That was a hidden bonus message almost at the end. Now I'm seeing this here on the death card. I didn't notice this immediately, but the death card is cutting a cord. So that might be important for you now. I, did I say that earlier? You may have to cut a cord. You may have to separate yourself from something or someone in order to reach that clarity so that you can reach your point of destiny and hope. So group four, there's a ton of messages here. I could probably go on and on and on, but it's already been over two hours, this reading, um, this video. But you guys, it, it's a wealth of information here. So you guys have a lot to say and a lot to probably even get done. Um, just pace yourself. You know, I, I feel the same way, you know, that, that that meme do all the things. So I highly recommend to stay as grounded and, and calm and centered as you possibly can. Enjoy every task that you have in front of you. Um, thinking about the feeling of satisfaction when you do get that thing done. And try to eliminate the distractions of the what-ifs for the future. Enjoy the process and you're going to get there. So again, a lot of information, a lot of wonderful messages a lot of beauty here. I hope that it made sense. I hope that it resonated. If it didn't at all, feel free to pick a different group. But group four, that's what I have for you. Um, definitely check out my writing channel because you guys strike me as writers. Um, it's linked below. But let us know in the comments how you're doing. I wish you the very, very best. I'm sending you love and light and I hope to see you next time. Um, remember, it's a general reading and the info pers for personal readings is in the description. Okay. Thank you once again and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.